You, uh, I have a, kind of a two-part question here for you, Alex. You talked about some of the folks that you interviewed, Stone Cold, The Rock, familiar names, Ric Flair. Uh, what was the process like of getting nailing some of these folks down to actually get interview time with them? And then once you did, uh, were they willing to really go deep uh, as far as Kurt and his past and things like that? Well, I'll be honest, interviewing The Rock is like interviewing the President of the United States. I uh, know. Yeah. He doesn't say anything wrong. He's always, like, politically correct and uh, perfect. He is a perfect human being. Yes, uh, he and is. He, there, was like, there was, like, 15 black SUVs, uh, you know. There was, like, every single question I asked, the guy poked on my shoulder and said, you've got three left, two left, one left. Wow. And, well, I'll say this: the guy, he's he's just he was amazing. He was amazing. He, I mean, I, I I I walked up to him and I shook his hand. And I'm from Massachusetts, and I was born and raised in Massachusetts. And he starts talking to me about Linfield, Mass, because that's where his wife is from. And he just shot the shit with me, and it was amazing because the guy does five billion things a day. And uh, as a matter of fact, we pulled him off of one of his movie shoots. That's where we were. We 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 flew out to Atlanta. Um, and we pulled him off his movie shoot and it's unbelievable that he was willing to donate their time, donate his, donate his time. And he had, uh, he had some very good insight. And I would say the, the most interesting thing I learned from the rock was, um, and this is not to kiss your butt again, Kurt, but he did say that like the, the pro wrestling is unique in which like the, the nicest people almost rise to the top and because fans can almost like gauge that. Because so much of their own personality has to come out while they're doing all this stuff. Right, that right. fans are almost like, okay, I like this dude. I'm going to bring him to the top. And I had never thought about pro wrestling that way, but it really struck me. And I was like, wow, that's kind of true. And, that, and what really struck me is when I went to interview all these different pro wrestlers, that's kind of the way I felt about all of them. I mean, uh, even Ronda Rousey uh, was like unbelievable, like just the sweetest human being. Um, you know, I got to interview at her, her at her farm and, she came out and she, she gave me all this like food and stuff. And he was just so, wow. so nice to us. And um, I, I, Austin went really deep. Austin went really deep. Uh, and he, 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 is, he is an incredible mind when it comes to all of this stuff. And, um, it, you know, he's a podcast host just like you. And he, he's extremely detailed in his um, – in his explanations on everything, whether it be pro wrestling or any other subject. So that was an amazing thing to get. Um, and Ric Flair mostly talks about himself. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's exactly what you expected. 